if it was not Ramaphosa, uh, Helen Zille would not have such an audacity. Helen Zille would, would have learned to respect people. But because of uh, they've got their friend, they've got themselves covered. Now, look, we are being disrespected the way we are by Helen Zille. Where does she get the audacity to disrespect uh, 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 my fellow black people and telling them that we can't give the gate that any government to dogs. Like she literally called, uh, e, she literally called e, e, look, uh, e MK party and EFF dogs. It is being governed by dogs. That's the, the, the look to you, clever black. That's what you voted for. Helen Zille, she was forced to apologize back in the days, for saying that colonialism was a good thing. She was forced to apologize. Now, it can't be that if it was a mistake, later she gets to say things that have, sent, that have the same or resemble same sentimental values. It cannot be a mistake. It is what other people have subjected us to. Now, She's got such an audacity to say black people, um, to say that we can't give cases and to these people. Remember, she was crying in a house saying that, uh, uh, you know what, a proportionality, uh, what, what, two voters wants to govern, want us to govern together. But when it comes to KZN, the, the, the issue of voters doesn't make sense. Yeah, this is... Look, that, that is where you see a person who's got the problem of the, 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 the idea of white supremacy. It reigns supreme in her head. Everything that like, has black people in it is corruption. But everything that has got white people in it, no, 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 it's not corruption. If, if a corruption is committed by them, no, 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 it's not corruption, it's business. But if a, the same thing is done by black people, no, 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 no. no. These ones are corrupt. They must, be, they must be in jail. I'm telling you, that is what we are seeing from ETA. Practical example. You don't even have to argue. You can't even argue with me on this one. In Gauteng, about look, the, the, the leadership in the KZN, look, the leadership in the ANC in KZN, they put down they, look, their feet and they said, nope, you are invited. You are going to behave like an invited person. You are not going to tell us who to include and who not to include, which seats to allocate to the EFF, I mean, to, to the IFP, and not to work with this one. Don't work with MK. Ah, you are invited here. Do not behave like uh, do not behave like now we, we get orders from you. Again, perfect example. White supremacy uh, uh, look, uh, tendency to think that you are superior than these black people. Go and govern them. Tell them what to do. But uh, let me tell you. This is what you need to do. Here. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed so i'm i was just showing you that there is a problem with this helen zile of yours there is a pro i told you da and racism same whatsapp group now she's saying uh dogs we can't give case at end to dogs so it in other words Whatever people say, it does not matter. What matters is what we say. White supremacy tendencies. It says that black people are subhuman beings. We are the real human beings. Because if we are all equal and we are all human beings, Helen Zilla will not have treated people of KZN the way she did. Let me show you. She get exposed. 
She gets to Kaiser, uh, she gets to Gauteng, she says that, no, don't you know that people wanted us to govern together? Which people? If you are talking about voters, you should have respected voters in KZN and, and govern with MK Pat because that's the number one voted party in, in, in look. But you were make you, you you said you want to you want to make sure that MK party doesn't rule in KZN. But before I spoil everything, guys, this is take a look at what the racist DA said here. So we aren't. And I'll be quite honest. I mean, we could threaten to bring KwaZulu Natal down if they don't agree to the document's terms in Gauteng, but we're not going to do that. We're not irresponsible people. We don't want to hand KwaZulu-Natal to MK and the EFF. It would be a total disaster for that province. So we're not about to do that. There are other levers that, we, that we're going to use. Obviously, there are. But we're not going to say the people of KwaZulu-Natal can be thrown to the dogs. Not at all. So we aren't... And I'll be quite honest, I mean, we could threaten to bring KwaZulu-Natal down if they don't agree to the document's terms in Gauteng, but we're not going to do that. We're not irresponsible people. We don't want to hand KwaZulu-Natal to MK and the EFF. It would be a total disaster for that province. So we're not about to do that. There are other levers that, we, that we're going to use. Obviously, there are. But we're not going to say the people of KwaZulu-Natal can be thrown to the dogs. Not at all. Uh, some of you, we need to clever blacks. If it wasn't you, some of you would not have been in this problem. I happy much. No, 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 no. These dogs. These dogs. Now, look, in, in Gauteng, she's saying, no, uh, voters wanted us to govern together. ANC must be aware of that. Which voters? Because if it was about voters in national, you would have included MK and EFF because voters, voters, whether you respect voters and it, voters wanted you to govern together. Um, in KZN, you would have respected the voters' choice. But now in Gauteng, now that you are being defeated in your own argument, now you come and you say voters want you to govern together, then do the same thing in KZN. You couldn't do it in KZN. I'm showing you, you are led by a hypocrisy here. This hypocrisy, uh, this hypocrite called Helen Zile, she's driven by the white supremacy in her head. And then let me tell you, let me remind you, when you say to someone, when you say white supremacy, you are simply saying, uh, the, uh, you are simply saying, you, without even saying it, you, once you say, uh, once you promote white supremacy, you are simply saying black people are inferior. You have already said it without even having to say it, right? Because when I say I'm higher than you, but technically you are lower than me. That is what DA is saying. Broad daylight and she's not held accountable. Why? Because this white president of yours who is black outside brought them here. We are in this problem because... There is this white president that we have in this country who brought all of this problem because if that white president called Ramaphosa did not invited his white fellow friends uh, who are racist. We don't have a problem with white people in this country, right? As long as those white people promote peace and stability in this country, as long as those white people treat black people equally, as long as those white people doesn't see themselves as superior human beings. We don't have a problem with white people, right? We don't have a problem with a white person who, who treats other people fair and, 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 and equal. We do not have a problem with such white people, right? We don't have a problem with white such white people. So the, the battle is not against the white race in general, but it's against the racist such as Helen Zile, Abu Khos. Look, People who, when they look at black people, they see inferior, inferior creatures, subhuman beings. That cannot be tolerated. It's not as business as usual. And you, clever blacks, you must follow them. When, if, if, if Helen Zille get punished, you, clever blacks, you must follow her. Because you voted for her. I need you said, she, look, she's going to bring, bring change. We told you, you cannot, no matter how drunk you are, you can't bring these people into power. Now, they are beginning to show you not long ago, it was this guy called House. Now it's Helen Zilla calling other people dogs. And what is going to happen? Ramaphosa is not going to punish him, but punish her.
because Ramaphosa is white inside and black outside, right? She doesn't think about the problems that black people are, are subjected to, right? That's a problem. We are in this problem because Ramaphosa created this problem for us. We are in this problem because Ramaphosa feels comfortable to invite an enemy into this coalition called DA. Thanks to Ike Ile for showing leadership because those ones, they are real leadership. They are showing real leadership. To say, no, we cannot be bullish, bullish, bullied by you. Voters wants to govern, want us to govern together. If you respect voters, you could have respected KZN. You could have allowed MK, pay, MK Party to rule KZN and you are in government with them. Not to override their, their, the will of the people. Now you, in KZN, you, you, can, how you want to tell us about people who wanted to, to, look, who wanted to govern together with you. No, nonsense. Bullshit. We're not going to listen to that. Yarr. This racist called Uhelen Zile. Yarr. You called other people dogs. We're not going to give this to dogs. Obviously, literal dogs, guys, it's very, it's very simple. Dogs, in literal sense, wouldn't govern KZN. So you, you are not referring to literal dogs. We are referring to people who would have governed KZN. You are referring to them. You are referring them to dogs. Such an audacity. 